Good evening. Today I will show you how to create animated gradient backgrounds in simple steps. I will show you three different techniques to create animated backgrounds quickly and easily. Let's get started. Before we start, I have created a library in After Effects, with the colors I will use, for my own convenience. You can use whatever colors you like. Let's start with the first technique. Make a new composition. And rename it Background 1. Full HD dimensions, and time it to 10 seconds. Make a new solid. And rename it BG. Go to Effects and Presets, and write Fill. Grab it, and put it on top of BG. Change the color to dark purple. We make a new composition, and we rename it Element 1, and we color it a little dark, not completely white. Now select the Ellipse tool. And turn off the stroke. And put color orange light in the fill. And start making different circles, with the shift key held down, but always with the shape layer selected, to save everything in the shape layer 1. When we're done we place them, exactly where we want. Now go to effects and presets, and grab fill, and put it on top of the element, and change the color to light orange. Go back to effects and presets, and write drop shadow and grab it and put it on top of the element. Change the color to dark purple and make the distance 60. Select ellipse tool again and paint the color blue. And start making different circles, just like before. When we're done we place them, exactly where we want them. And again we'll apply the same effects again, fill, and drop shadow, just change the colors. And we'll do another one like the previous ones, just fill in the remaining gaps. Now we make a new null object, and rename it control. Select the three shape layers, and pull the pick whip on the control. We make a new adjustment layer, and rename it FX. Go to effects and presets and write CC Rape Tile, and put it on top of FX. And do expand right 3858. Now go to Control, press P, to display the position, put a keyframe at 0, and press 10 seconds, and X position is minus 1080. Done. Click on Background 1, and Insert Element 1. Go to Effects and Presets, and write Turbulent Displace, and put it over the element. Click on Amount, and make it 17, size 109, and Complexity 2,5. Open Evolution Options, click on Circle Evolution, and make it 3. Put a keyframe on Evolution, and click on End and make it 1078. We go back to effects and presets, and we go to directional blur, and we set the direction to 52, and the blur to 600. Go back to effects and presets, and we go to twirl, and we set the angle to minus 60, and the twirl radius to 41. And once again we go to effects and presets, and we go to Gaussian blur. And we set the blurriness to 16,1. And there you go. Let's go to the second technique. Make a new composition, and rename it background 2. Make a new solid and rename it BG. Go to Effects and Presets, and write Fill, and put it on top of the BG, 
change the color to dark purple. We make a new composition, and we rename it element 2. And we change the color to a little dark white. We select the ellipse tools, put white color in the fill, and start making different circles, without holding down the shift key, the difference with the previous one is each layer separately. When we're done, we put them where we want them. We select the ellipse tools again, we now put black paint on the fill, and do exactly the same as before. Create a new null object and rename it control. Select all the layers and grab the pick whip and drag it to the control. We make a new adjustment layer and we rename it FX. We go to effects and presets and we write CC repetal and we do the expand right as before 3858. We go to control, press P. Display the position, and put in a keyframe. Click on the end, and the X position is minus 1080. Go back to background 2, and drag element 2 inches. Go to effects and presets, and write tint. In the first color we put blue light, and in the second one green light. Go back to effects and presets, and write wave warp. And the wave height we make 71. The wave width 1579. The direction 26. And the wave speed 0, 0,1. And phase 35. Selected the element, press E, to display the effects, go to Wave Warp, and to Compositing Options. Go one second, and put a keyframe. Go back to the beginning, and set it to zero. Then press 9 seconds, put a keyframe. And at the end, set it to zero. We go back to Effects and Presets, and we go to Directional Blur. We set the direction to 19 and the blur to 689. Go to effects and presets again and write twirl. Angle is 1 and twirl radius is 57. And we're done. Now let's go to the third and final technique. Make a new composition, and rename it Background 3. And paint it black. Make a new solid. And rename it BG. Go to Effects and Presets and write for color gradient. In the two primary colors we put pink light, and in the other two we put purple dark. Grab the points of the dark purple, and put them in the corners, and the light pink in the bottom corners. We make a new adjustment layer, and rename it control. Go to Effects and Presets, and Motion Tile. And change the output width 200, and the output height 300. And click on Mirror Edges. Go back to Effects and Presets, and write Turbulent Displace. In Displacement we put Vertical Displacement. Amount 300. Size 150, and Complexity 9. 
go back to effects and presets, and go to CC smear, and set radius to 1000, and double it. Go back to effects and presets, and we go to twirl, and we set the angle to minus 56. Go back to CC smear, and put keyframes on from, and to. And bring the points about halfway, press 3 seconds, select the control, press U, to bring up the keyframes, and move the points a little to the left. We go to 7 seconds, and we bring the top point down, and the bottom point up. And we go to the end, and we move them slightly to the left. We're going to do the same thing, and with the CC smear too, this time from the right, but with smaller movements. We can change the points on the background colors, until we get it where we want it. That was it, and the third technique. You saw how easily, and quickly we made three fantastic animated gradient backgrounds. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel, because there are very useful tutorials coming up. Bye!